Thanks for stopping by Down Ohio. This is Rob Greaves, and it is uh, Thursday, September 29th. Uh, I will warn you right now, I have a lot of stuff open on this machine, so it's probably going to pop up this little warning thing telling me that it's not happy. So be prepared for that. Don't let it jump you out of your seat. We are so close to moving into October. We are a couple days away from it. I believe Saturday will be October 1st, and um, shoot, we're already heading towards Halloween here. It's just amazing how fast the time is moving by. Anyway, that being said, I was looking at some of my stuff that I'm personally involved in uh, this morning, and one of them kind of leapt, leaped out to me. Uh, and I thought I would share it with you because it is a awesome speculative stock that I think is going to go crazy, and everybody could make a lot of money off of it. So I am, I do have, I do own shares of this particular stock. Uh, and I wanted to go over what it's doing, where it's sitting, and what its potential might be. So this one is a good one for you to take a look at and pretty cheap for you to get into. And, and I would say just sit on it because, you know, it really can't go much lower than it already is. And it has a, a magnificent amount of room to move. So let's take a look at it. It is called HPGS. It is a High Plains Gas incorporated and currently right now that chart is live and it is sitting at five cents a share this thing has been on a downward roll for a very long time since uh, June ish and um, you know everybody has had plenty of time to get out of this thing but you can see that uh, up up above here uh, probably from about here down to about here there was a lot of buying and selling buying and selling buying and selling and kind of moved sideways here so not a lot of negative activity however once it hit this point here there was a lot of selling just a solid amount of selling not a lot of buying a couple two three days of uh, maybe another one there of uh, of just uh, very light buying and then solid sell-off all the way down and so uh, everybody's lost a well I don't know you know it depends on where people bought into this but you know, people were buying in up here too, so everybody lost a little bit here that had bought in here. People that had bought in from wherever this thing came from, and I haven't really looked at a super long range uh, chart of this. It's been up here for about three years, so uh, people that were up here may be selling off and capturing profit, knowing that the thing's going down, and then uh, people up here may be were hanging on thinking it was going to pull out and then it started dropping again so they dropped off and with thinking in that mentality these folks here have lost a pretty good uh, spread so from about here to somewhere down here they, they, they engaged and and uh, and decided to start selling off. So wherever they sold, uh, you know, they've lost from here to here. So, and that's a that's a huge loss. And the reason why I'm rambling on and on and on about this is because the when this thing starts going back up, when it starts heading back up, which it looks like it might be beginning to do, we'll have to see if we get a couple good positive marker days here. When this starts heading back up, these people that lost some money are going to be looking towards capturing their profit. And you can play this one of two ways. You can play this uh, by by um, letting it head up to a certain level, and uh, and then um, you know putting a, uh, uh, a a limit order on it to sell. And you know you can look at the plateaus of the levels on this. And um, and see, let me grab one of these guys up here. Let's see if I can do this. Let me get rid of this. Okay. So if we just if we just look at the levels on this, there's there's a there's a a a, a, a resistance level right there. Actually, there's there's one right there. Obviously, 
there's another one right here where that stopped today and pulled that. And then there's another one right here. So you can see the levels of resistance on this where, where it was actually support and then fell through. And then support and then fell through. I'm just coming up um, upside down here and saying resistance because that's now going to be what this is hitting when it's coming up. So uh, resistance when it hits here. Resistance when it hits here. See how that see how that's looking right there. You can pretty much determine, you know, where to set your levels or how much you want to set them at. Uh, if it does come up here and, and go back down. You know, eventually it'll break that level. If you happen to set one up here, and this thing bounces up to this level and drops back down and plays around at that for a few little bit, it'll eventually get up here and, and sell off. So, you know, you can set this wherever you want. There's a there's a, a pretty good size level right uh, right here, and uh, probably 12 cent range, and then a, a really strong, fairly strong level right actually right about there just below 30 cent range. So um, the bottom line is, is no matter how you decide to play this one, I mean, it, seriously, it can't get much lower than five cents. I mean, if you put $100 into this thing and it lost half of its value, you've lost 50 bucks. Uh, if it lost three quarters of its value, you've lost uh, 75 bucks. But my point is, is that the loss that you can incur you could lose you know a hundred dollars but and it could be worth a penny but the amount you could, that you could lose versus the ninety nine dollars that you possibly could lose the amount that you can make I should say versus the amount that you could lose outweighs the risk at this point if you see where I'm going uh, this thing was up here uh, at the very last uh, around June between June and July up to a buck twenty or thirty right here about a buck thirty five uh, level which is quite a huge jump um, let's take a look at the uh, at the longer range map here and I've kinda charted these out here's where it was back here in June which is was 31.3125 uh, that is about six and a half times what you would put into it right now so um, you could effectively double your money six times not double your money but uh, increase your uh, your your five cent buy six times if it hits up here where it like to sit for the longest time from uh, 2010 all the way back to almost here to the beginning of 2010 it liked to sit in right in between this range here just kind of using this as support 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 and this was resistance up here but it was traveling right along that resistance line at about a buck 25 if it goes back to that level that's 25 times your original investment and then ultimately and at last uh, it was sitting up here at this $35 range back in 09 March and June March June maybe a little bit it started dropping in July and going down um, if it gets back to this $35 range which I fully believe it will because of just if you look at the history on the company that would be a 700 times your initial investment gain my point with this one is to to just pick it up and set it and forget it like Ronco used to say you know pick it up and just forget about it wait for this thing to to restabilize they they are doing some amazing things with this company um, and uh, they have opened up some new areas and uh, I, I fully expect this thing to once it gets wrapped up and rolling again to completely recover so I think this is a good opportunity for you if you if you just to put this in uh, dollar form if you were to uh, recover to these levels a hundred dollar investment to this very first level would would 
bring you back a $625 return. If you make it back up to this uh, uh, $1.25 with a $100 investment, um, you would be looking at uh, $2,500 bucks for every $100 you invested in that. And then ultimately, if you made it back up to this uh, $35 per share level, you're looking at $70,000 for every 100 that you put into this. That's kind of hard to believe that, but what goes down must go up, what goes up must go down. And right now this thing is flat rock bottom down. And uh, the only thing this thing can do is go back up or go out of business. And I don't think they're gonna go out of business. I think this thing is gonna take off at some point. And the other thing that I just wanted to remind you and bring you back to is that this will be a stock that will be massively attacked by penny stockers. It will be massively attacked by uh, people shorting the market and market makers shorting these types of stocks. So once this thing starts trying to come back, you're going to see it widely fluctuating and being pushed down and being thrusted up and doing all sorts of strange things. So uh, if you play that right, you could, you know, extremely increase these numbers. If you time it right, if you're into timing stuff, you're into selling it, um, if you lose your ground on it and it goes the wrong way on you and takes off up and you timed it and sold out you know you can affect these negatively so the thing is is you play it how you want to play it my point is you know it's a stock worthy of getting into and that's just all I wanted to share with you today so take that for what it's worth and if you're into buying speculative stocks this is the one um, take a look at the company background uh, it's an interesting background uh, they are doing some some major things so and change and making major changes so uh, that's what I got for you today, and uh, members will take a look at some other stuff that I'm going to put into the members section, so uh, come over there when you get a chance and spend a little bit of time there. Thanks, guys. Take care.